Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today what we're going to do is I will be showing you how I do my nails DIY and this is in the French tip style and these are glue on nails. So the first thing that I do is I go ahead and I grab a nail file and some nail polish remover. So I make sure that I take off all of my nail polish and just make sure that my nails are super clean and once everything is off of my nails I take my file and I start to buff the top of my nail. I want the top of my nail to be pretty rough um, so that the glue sticks to it. If your nails are very soft, shiny, and healthy, then the glue will not adhere to the nail and they will pop off much easier. So I'm just going to continue to file my nails. Um, I'm going to buff them up top and make sure they're filed down short. So now that my nails are buffed, I'm just going to give them one last quick file um, on my left hand and then I will choose my nails. I have these French tip nails from KISS. KISS is probably one of the most popular brands that people use. You can get them at Walmart or Target. Um, and then these are these blue ones that are super pretty. But I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with the French tip because it's very basic and it will match with anything I decide to wear. Here I'm just going through the nails and trying them on to see which nail fits on each of my fingers. So I always start with my thumb. I'm going to go ahead and take my nail kit and <laughs> I broke one of the tools in here but I'm going to take this center tool and this is for my cuticles and what you want to do is you want to make sure you take like a flat end. I'm sorry I can't get it to focus. But you want to take this flat cuticle, I don't even know what it is, but it's a tool to push down your cuticles and you can use cuticle oil to help um, relieve some of the discomfort if you want to. But I'm going to go ahead and push down my cuticles so that when I put the nail on, I can really press it in there and it looks seamless. So it will look like an acrylic nail or even a real nail. It'll just look like your real nails because your cuticles will be perfect. The next step is to go ahead and try to match all of the nails correctly. Um, you don't want any of the nail to overlap your skin on the sides. You want it to fit in there just like a glove. And if you see any of your nail hanging out at the sides, that means the nail is too small. So if you find the nail overlapping your skin, that means it's too big. And if you see nail on the sides, that means it's too small. So try to get the one that's perfectly in between and that will be your perfect fit for that finger. So guys, what I did here is I went ahead and I found all of the nails that fit my finger, each finger perfectly, and I put them in order starting from thumb to pinky, and I went ahead and did that so that I wouldn't forget which ones they were, and there are numbers on the tabs. So I just make sure I go ahead and find the matching numbers, and the next thing I do is I open up my glue. Make sure that your nail kit comes with nail glue, otherwise you will have to buy it separately.
So I go ahead and I cut the tip off of the, the glue bottle with the scissors because it's always sealed. And I make sure that I put the glue directly onto my nail and make sure that every inch is covered with a little bit of glue. And I'll take the nail that matches my finger, just kind of press it. So you'll press and hold it to really get it down into that cuticle and when you're pressing on it you will start to feel that the glue is going to adhere the nail to your actual fingernail. So I just do this for every single one of them and I just hold it down for a few seconds just until I feel like it's really secured. Um, you'll start to feel it a little more secure as you press it down. And be careful because you can get glue on your finger, so you don't want to put too much glue. You just want to make sure every inch of your nail is covered with some glue. The next step is to go ahead and pull the tabs off of the nails. Not all nails come with these tabs. Some of the numbers are located on the inside of the nail itself. So I would keep a lookout for that. But if they have the tabs on them, just go ahead and tear them off. And just go ahead and lightly take your nail file and file down the edge that was left from the tab. So guys, this is the finished look. I'm really obsessed with these nails. I love that they go with anything and they're super short and functional and they just look super beautiful and natural. Um, one tip that I really wanted to let you guys know is these are not like acrylic so they can lift up on the bottom and if they lift up and you're doing the dishes and you get some water in them, you do have a capability for fungus. So please be sure that your nails are secure and um, if they they lift up then either take them off or glue them back on before you get them wet and the last thing I wanted to mention are these rings um, I get a lot of questions about these rings and these are the name rings I can't remember what it's called I think it's called the love stack with the diamond band in the middle and these are from slate and tell and I will link that down below for you guys but guys if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up Please hit that big red subscribe button if you haven't done so already. We would love to have you join the family. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.